technician student at Fleming College and today I'm going to talk to you about quarter sawn wood. In order to better understand the quarter sawn process I'm going to compare it with plain sawn and rift sawn lumber. Plain sawn logs is the most commonly used process. This is due to the low cost of production because of the minimal amount of waste wood produced which is represented by this by the blue color here. Comparing that with the quarter sawn log, you can see that a lot more waste is produced by the quarter sawn process than the plain sawn process. Now, as we take a closer look at the annual rings present on the end grains of both plain sawn and quarter sawn wood, as you can see there is quite a big difference. Because the plain sawn board is cut with annual rings arching horizontally, this makes the board more prone to cupping due to the fact that wood will always cup, cup opposite the annual rings. This process also promotes expansion and contraction of the wood. Quarter sawn wood is cut from a section of the log that is vertical to the pith, here and here. Therefore, the rings are straight and stable, also creating a straight grain on the face of the board. This little diagram in the corner shows how to tell the difference between quarter sawn, which is represented by this green color, and rift sawn boards, which is represented by the red. In order for a piece of wood to be considered quarter sawn, the ring should be between 90 and 60 degrees from the face of the, bo of the board. While rift sawn boards should have rings 60 to 30 degrees from the face of the board. This is identified through the location that the piece of wood was cut. So, what I've done here is showed the visual aspect of each process shown from the face of the board. A visual ID feature used to identify plain sawn boards is present on the face of the board with a distinct cathedral and flame look within the grain. Quarter sawing is not common with most species of trees. Most commonly, red and white oak logs are quarter sawn. This is due to the prominent rays present in the species. The rays create a visual appeal called flex, shown here. These features are most sought after by furniture makers and for decorative paneling. So, to summarize, I'll start with quarter sawn wood. Quarter sawn wood is more expensive due to the labor intensive process and amount of waste produced. But it is also more stronger and stable due to the annual ring location within each board, creating it less prone to cupping and expansion and contraction. Is mostly used on, on uh, oak species due to the prominent rays which create flex on the face of the board. Plain sawn wood is prone to cupping and warping. This is due to because of the fact that wood tends to cup opposite the annual rings. It's less, it's less expensive because it doesn't create as much waste. It is ID'd by prominent cathedral or flame visualizations on the face of the board.